Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm very excited because I finally received my package. Today I'm going to be unboxing this package that I got from Amazon. I ordered this around close to a month, one month ago. And what happened was it never was delivered to me. So I had to contact Amazon and they had to give me a replacement. Finally, it arrives today. This is a robot vacuum cleaner. It's called a Posinic, I believe is 8, 850T. This product, what I like is it can do both sweeping and mopping the floor. This would definitely help me save a lot of time. Previously, I actually purchased the iRobot Roomba 675 and it did not live up to my expectation. It did a horrible job in clean, on cleaning up my, my floor and also it actually created more dust. One day I spilled rice all over the floor and I tried to use the Roomba to help me pick up the rice but it didn't do a good job in picking up all the rice. So I figured that was actually a really bad robot vacuum cleaner and I just had to return it back. Looked on Amazon and I saw this, thought, you know, this is something I would want to try because it has two features. It can sweep and it can mop. Because I like to clean my house a lot, I clean it once or twice a week. So it does take a lot of time sweeping and also mopping the floor. I think investing in a robot cleaner or robot vacuum cleaner will help me save a lot of time. So I hope this works. If it doesn't work, then I would not purchase any more robot vacuum cleaners anymore. I'm giving it a second chance. So hopefully this works. So now on to unboxing and I'm very excited about, you know, what's inside and whether it works or not. T today I might not be testing out the robot because it's kind of late. I may do it tomorrow after work or maybe on Friday morning because um, I took Friday off. We'll see if, I mean, if I have some time, then I may um, vacuum one of the empty rooms. <clears throat> Otherwise, I would just maybe vacuum it tomorrow or Friday and I'll let you know how it goes. Okay, so unboxing this. So the first time when they shipped this out, they were using another carrier and somehow it got lost. The package got lost midway. And so I guess this time they're worried that the package is going to get lost again. So they decided to ship it directly from the Amazon warehouse or from an Amazon facility. Okay, so we so the box that it comes on definitely it's much bigger than the one um, the Roomba six seventy five. Let's see what they have inside the box. Nice and packaged. is so heavy. Okay, sorry you guys. It is a little bit too heavy. Hold on. This is this feels much heavier than the uh, 675. Okay, this is how it looks like. I'm very excited to open this. I just really hope this works. Otherwise, if it doesn't work, I'll be very disappointed. So I, I pray that it works. Let me see. Push. Gonna... So we're gonna open this. There's a sticker. Okay, so that's the bottom. Excuse me. We have this quick start guide. 
I think there's something inside. I don't know what this is. Um, maybe some extra stuff that they're giving me. Oh, I don't know. Um, we'll take a look at it later. And then we have, of course, the Procinic vacuum, robot vacuum cleaner. And we have a lot of these brushes. There's four of them. One, two, three, four. And then they include a battery. And this is, um, I think, the cloth for the mop. I think, yeah. And this is the battery to charge the robot cleaner. Oh, this is the mop, yeah, the bottom of the mop. So this is just an, a spare one, an extra one that they're giving out for free. And then there's one attached to it. Um, and I believe you fill water with this. And then they have the, the dock to charge the battery. And we have the filter. I think this is also a spare one. Oh, they have a remote control. And last but not least, also they have some sort of stickers to, so this is like a magnetic strip for, for you to kind of, um, it's sort of like a border to set in your house so that the robot doesn't go over a certain point in the house. If you, there's like certain area you don't want it to go over or you don't want it to be vacuumed. So now I'm going to try to set it up. So this is how it looks like and then I want to show you also how it looks on the back so this is how the back looks like or the bottom looks like they have the wheels here this is so similar to the iRobot or the Roomba 675 so with the wheels and then with the, the middle wheels here and I think we attach the brush here and there's like a this brush which is much loose and much smooth it, it, it runs much smoother compared like i'm talking about this brush it runs much smoother compared to the Roomba 675 so i'm just going to put this together actually before i do that i'm going to take a look at the manual or the start guide to see how i should set this up Thanks for choosing Procynic. Love to hear from you. Okay. I don't know what this is. Uh, another brush? I'm not sure. Anyways. Uh, <clears throat> Ooh, so this is the, the guide. There's no manual to... Oh, okay, never mind. This is the manual. Manual where you um, where it has all the information on. I'm just going to set it up first. I'm gonna add the two, these two brush. Okay. I don't know if you can see this, but anyway, so. I guess if I don't want a brush, I can just take it out. I don't know. Oh, there we go. Popped it in. You just have to align this square along with this and just press a little bit harder to pop it in.
There we go. Okay. We have two brushes. And then we have this. Let me see what's on the bottom. On the bottom, it says take off the spin. It shows you um, how you can clean the the garbage from the dustbin. And then they have this like on off button here, which is cool. Okay. I think I'm go going to charge this robot. And then also for this, I believe you if you want. So again, earlier I mentioned that this vacuum robot has two functions. One is the sweeping, the other is the mopping. And if you want to um, change it to mopping, you actually have to remove this bin and put on the, the mopping bin, which is this one. Ah, so this is the cleaning brush. Okay. I believe this thing right here is the cleaning brush. Because here, if you can look at the, look here, it says, um, I don't know if you can see, Here it says, take off dustbin, open dustbin, pour out rubbish, open the dustbin cover and take out the filter. And then number five. Okay, sorry guys. So earlier my battery died and I had to change my battery. So anyways, um, I'm go going to just try to take out this dustbin and then put the the other dustbin in to see how it looks or whether it's easy to take out and put on. Just gonna try it now, okay. Earlier I was talking about how this thing is actually a cleaning brush for the dustbin. So as you can see, number six, it says clean the dustbin and filter with a cleaning brush, which is this one. So you use this to clean. I mean, it's very nice how they actually included a cleaning brush. Because for the Roomba 675, they did not include something like this. So, I mean, it's, you know, this bonus, so this is great. It cost around $240 on Amazon. And there was like a $40 coupon I saw the other day when I bought it. So I had, I just paid like two, around $200 plus tax. At this price where it has both the sweeping and the mopping function as well as a lot of um, the spare, you know, the, 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 the spare uh, mopping cloth and um, and the filter and, and a lot of spare items or every things that they're giving out. I think this is a definitely a very great deal. I'm very excited to test it out tomorrow. Hopefully it live, lives up to my expectation. Otherwise I'll be so disappointed. Okay, so I'm just going to see how I can remove this dustbin here. One second. Oh, there we go. It's that simple and I was trying to figure out how to remove it. So that's how the bin looks like. Um, and then I'm trying to figure out how I can open this. <clears throat> oh. Okay, there we go. It's very simple and then they have this filter here. Um, I wonder how you change the filter. Okay, I think, oh, never mind. So this, they make it pretty easy, pretty fun. And then if you need to change the filter, you will have to, you just have to press this to open. And then this is where you would change the filter. So that's how it looks like. And then I'm gonna put this filter back on. Hold on. Then close it, lock it. Okay, so I'm going to try to play around with the mopping bin. So this is if you want to mop the floor. This is where you would put the water. So you would put all the water in this little hole, fill it up. Oh, so here it shows you. It shows you um, how much water you are putting. Uh, reminder, please take out the water tank when charging. Okay, they even have a reminder here to remind you that it's not safe to charge while there is water inside. This is pretty cool. Okay, I like it. I already like it. This is how it looks like. This is the um, the mopping feature. Oh, so for this actually, it mops and it sweeps at the same time. If you put this on, it actually can sweep and also do the mopping at the same time. So the, the dust and all the other junk and stuff. Excuse me, where is it? 
it will go in here and then the water will actually go down from here to this cloth to mop your floor. It's going to connect everything together and then we're going to go ahead and start charging it for some time and once it's uh, charged a little bit maybe I'll try to test it out but again maybe most likely I'll do it tomorrow because it's a little bit late now and I just I'm tired it was a long day of work so you have this um, charging dock uh, you plug this in here and then I'm trying to figure out what, what this is. Uh, hold on. Actually, let me look at the manual. I just want to see if I have to put the battery in or if that's more like a like a backup thing. Sorry, this is where actually you put the wire in. So I like how they, they designed this so that it's not too messy when you are charging the robot. So this is pretty cool. Okay. And then next step is to turn on the main power switch on the bottom of the robot. The power switch, they're referring to this one, this thing here, this red button. I don't know if you can see it, but it's this red button right here. So we have to turn this on. Oh, after you turn it on, it has this beep sound. So telling you that I am on. Okay. Activate the robot, place robot onto charging dock, making sure the metal charging contacts are. I'm just going to place this robot and let it charge. Ouch. Okay, I think it needs to charge, that's why. Just wants to charge. There we go. Now it's charging. So after you put the robot, it's now charging. Um, okay. Right now I'm going to Download the app and try to figure out how to use that app and then maybe I can do some cleaning later or tomorrow morning or tomorrow evening or Friday morning. We'll see. And I'm very excited to use it and it looks like this is a great product. It definitely looks much fancier and it has much more functions and I like it so far so we'll see how it goes. And I'll check back in with you guys later after I've tested this out. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Okay guys, I know what the battery is for. These batteries they included is actually for the remote control. Um, I mean, if I don't use the remote control, I actually don't really have to do anything with this. But I don't know, I'll, maybe I'll, I'll use the remote control, we'll see.